Steve Andrews is giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, a Target 8 investigation. The sheriff contends someone forged his signature, and now we learn there might be an incentive to do that. The Pinellas County Sheriff is throwing fuel on an already raging fire. And the flames are singeing two tax-funded agencies that help people find work, as well as burning the CEO just a little bit here, too. Target A senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews telling us about a possible motive behind these forged documents. Yeah, two words, paid incentives. A committee looking into what to do about potential problems at Career Source Pinellas in Tampa Bay and CEO Ed Peachy has a range fire on his hands. I'm not going to make any comments while the investigation is going on. Ed Peachy is still on the hot seat and still the CEO of Career Source Pinellas and Career Source Tampa Bay, though Pinellas Sheriff Bob Galtieri is turning up the heat. They forged my signature and they forged Evelyn Jones's signature on those forms so that they could get credit, I guess, for placing these people. The state is investigating questions about phony job placement numbers by Peachy's agencies. A local committee is also taking a look. We've gone from a clerical possible error to a major, you know, this is a felony. This ad hoc committee learned Peachy created a program where as many as 30 career source employees receive incentive-based compensation. The more people placed in jobs, the more money they make. Career Source Pinellas contends it placed Keena McPherson. According to McPherson, she filled out paperwork at Career Source, but the agency had nothing to do with her finding a job at the sheriff's office. Galtieri says there were 10 such employees Career Source is taking credit for. These were people that didn't go through Career Source. They came to us first, and this was this backwards process. Any explanation about the sheriff's signature? When I, when I signed the contracts, the, the signatures were already on there. So, um, you know, I assume that those were the uh, signatures from the sheriff's department. Um, the sheriff's department invoiced us based on those contracts. We made payments based on those invoices that were based on those contracts. So I don't understand where the disconnect is. Oh, it put it back on us because they forged our, my signature on those forms? That's a bunch of nonsense. Ed Peachy remains suspended. The committee will ask the governor to speed up the state's investigation. Are the paid incentives for job placements leading to exaggerated numbers? That is what the state should be investigating. And I heard the sheriff there say that it's a backwards process, this job system. Yeah. Why does he say that? Well, it, it really kind of is. The sheriff and several hundred potential employers send lists of people they intend to hire to Career Source. The Career Source enters those names into a database. Then, if any of those folks are hired, Career Source lists them as direct placements and takes credit for them. Mm. And what these folks want to know is, is this happening all over the state or just here, making it a special place? The sheriff says, don't put it back on me. Yeah. That's on you. That's right. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. And if you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, you can call our Target 8 helpline. It is 1-800-338-0808.